Hello and welcome to Bicycle Touring Talk. My name is George Schlackig and this is episode 143. Barbara and I were on the last days of our Colombia tour, still far away from our final stop in Bogota, from where we would fly back home to Canada. We had decided to travel by bus from Puerto Berrio to Medellin, where we would enjoy a nice weekend. Then we would have no choice but to take a bus back to Bogota to meet our deadline. Bicycle touring talk. Hmm. <laughs> this episode is a bit different, but it marks the end of a great tour Barbara and I did together. Medellin was one of the highlights of the trip. We really didn't know what to expect from the city when we first arrived in the late afternoon of February 14th, 2019, after a truly sickening bus ride. We got lost to boot until we found a hotel that was within our price range. It was also the kind that catered to the sex trade, which seems to be totally legal here and didn't affect us in any way, aside from some traffic and other noise in the hallways late at night. <laughs> the next morning, we first wanted to get back to the bus terminal to secure our tickets for a bus to Bogota on the 17th. Once again, it got complicated because we got lost again and ended up at a bus terminal that was close to the airport. We were able to buy the tickets, but were told that the bus was going to depart from another terminal. Was this the one we had arrived at? It sure seemed like it. At least we sort of knew where that was. Along the way, we also had a bit of a detour because the Tour de Colombia bicycle race was in town. While we were not up to date on international bike racing, and all we got to see were barriers and spectators, it was still amazing to see how popular cycling is in Colombia. Medellin is way ahead of North American cities when it comes to bike infrastructure. You can get around on a bicycle extremely easily. We had a great time exploring parts of the city that way. The highlight of our day was Cerro Nutibarra, a park on a hill right smack in the center of town. The road goes around and up the hill. A challenging ride to get to the top. There's everything up there, places to eat, a fun park with slides and a replica of a traditional Colombian village. The park is named after the indigenous chief, Nutibara. To us, the views of the city were most impressive. See for yourself. The next day, we decided to leave our bikes in the room. Whoa. The plan was to ride the metro train to Acevedo Station, then take the cable car to Barrio Santo Domingo, an old neighborhood that used to be very poor because before the cable car was built, it had been difficult to access due to its location on a steep hill. Today, this is a popular stop for many tourists from all over the world. Small stores are thriving here and the views from the hillside, as well as the cable car itself, 
are truly amazing. Medellin sits in a valley, somehow that shelters it from bad weather too, or so it seems. We enjoyed Santo Domingo, but there's another cable car departing from there that goes several kilometers more up the hillside. The final stop is at Parque Arvi, a nature park that makes you forget you're in the city. The first thing we ran into though was the market, catering mostly to tourists but offering many unique Colombian handmade goods and traditional foods. We had lunch there and it was great. The park also has many hiking trails which we explored extensively. It was a long day on foot. On the way back to our hotel, we stopped in at a mall for a big meal. Amazing food for a great price. The 17th was our last day in Medellin. We spent the entire day exploring the city by bicycle and getting some shopping done. Instead of boring you with the details, I'll just show you some of the best footage and pictures I took. We took an overnight bus to Bogota that evening. The next morning we navigated back toward C and S Bogota, the place we had already booked and that still had our suitcases. We had a couple of days in Bogota before flying back to Canada, but they passed way too fast. It seems like just when you're starting to truly enjoy a place, it's already time to pack up and go home. Well, we had spent almost two months in Colombia. The only thing on our minds was when we could come back. Colombia had made a lasting impression. We simply had to see more of this beautiful country that gets so much bad rap. Back in Canada, all people ever asked me about was whether we had any problems, meaning of course, crime and violence. You have to go to Colombia yourself to see how absurd this is, at least in today's Colombia. Well, maybe not completely absurd, because you'll find trouble anywhere if you go looking for it. We returned to Colombia the following winter, just before 19 became a thing. We actually did get robbed on that trip, but it wasn't a horrifying experience at gunpoint or anything like that. Huh? Bicycle Touring Talk will take a break for a few weeks at this point. But there will be a new series about our 2020 trip that started and ended in Cartagena. Soon. 
Hope you liked this video. And if you've never clicked that subscribe button yet, why not do it now? Thank you and see you soon. Phew.